Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How are we all today? I think I'm finally working out how this thing works. I know I'm gonna to have to turn off the comments in a second. Do the comments stay on? Just give me like a thumbs up. Good morning. Do the comments stay on if I don't turn them off? Do they stay on the screen? <laughs> Good morning, fellow Abbeys. I have, I have also, I'm not gonna, how can I show you this? This is day six. I've also done day six project abs for day six, which is Monday, which is next week. And it is looking fun, looking fun. I'm very organized today. Uh, every, so do the comments stay on the screen during the workout or do I have to turn them off so you guys get the full screen? Good morning. Can anybody like tell me if these comments stay on or they come and they go? Anyone? No, nothing. They stay on. Okay, fine. I'm going to turn them off and I'll turn them. I'll turn them back on again. We can make them go away as well. Okay. Well, let me try and make them go away first for everybody. Uh, did that work? Oh, they fade if in the full screen. Okay. All right, well, I'm just gonna leave it. All right, I'm just gonna flip you around. How do I do that? There we go. Okay. Oh. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day four of Project Abs. Woo! The week again, I can't believe it, is almost over. It is already day four. I hope everyone is feeling well today, and thank you very much again for all your comments and your feedback. Um, it's been good, all positive, can't complain with that one, thankfully. Um, and also everyone, obviously, thank you for joining me on this, on this journey. The numbers are slow, are, are creeping up and, um, and it's really interesting to see how many people are coming on, starting the 21 day reset program, going through super me and now into the abs workout, this, uh, project abs workout. Uh, make sure you're feeling okay. And, um, I will be doing a live Q and A on Instagram tonight um, about nutrition and or any other questions that you may have. So uh, tonight at probably like later around sort of nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, that's um, uh, Eastern Standard Time, GMT time. So my time uh, um, around around nine o'clock, I'll, I'll put, post a question on Instagram and we can, if you have any questions in regards to nutrition or anything like that. Now, one thing um, that has been raised a few a few times in regards to the, the Cobra exercise during this routine. Now, those of you who find yourselves, when you're extending the arms above your head, you may lose a little bit of retractive control and also abdominal control. Now, there is sort of like a happy medium. Yes, you will lose a little bit of EVA to gain more, but just be mindful that Core is the most important, and then shoulder blades and scooping is the second most important. So when you're in that prone position, lifting up, don't elevate yourself too much if you're going to lose total abdominal control and total control up through your head, neck, and shoulders. But if you still maintain some, then I'm happy with that. Also, a nice little cue is, is to get a towel or a pillow or whatever you have at a reasonable thickness and place it across your hips when you're lying down. That will help you re-engage or help control these rib cage and hip relationship. So get yourself comfortable and place a couple of uh, a towel or a pillow under your hips. That's when you're lying down during the Cobra exercise. If you feel that you're losing yourself a little bit, or if you feel a bit too much in your lower back. Um, so it's, 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 it's that, yes, you are going to be obviously working your back. That's totally fine. But if you feel you're arching without abdominally controlling the movement, 
then I would suggest you start with a towel and then you can remove it as the weeks progress. Although uh, every week is going to be a different routine, but there will obviously be an extension exercise. There will obviously be a flexion exercise, a rotation and a side bend throughout every week, just in different variations and forms. So before we begin, kick off your shoes and your socks. If it is comfortable to do so, Oh, it is definitely comfortable to do so. I'm going to take my socks off. Sit yourself comfortably, drop through the head, neck and shoulders. And let's go for the box breath for me, everybody. So we're going to breathe in for the count of six. Let's go. Inhale. And hold at the top of that breath for five, four, three, two, and we breathe it out. And we hold at the bottom there for five, four, three, two, one. We breathe it in. And hold. And out. And hold. And in. And hold. And out. And hold. One more time. In and hold out hold and we're back in the room. All right, from here, grab that foam roller. I'll always do the extensions at the start of every session, <laughs> unless my body's feeling like it needs something else. But for the last few days, I think extension over the foam roller is actually quite nice to start these little routines with. Oh. So I'm just using my breath to melt over the roller. And while I'm back here, ooh, I feel a spot. Once you get a spot, you can keep the hands behind the head and flex up and forward into it. And just gently rock yourself back again. Oh. You can flex yourself up and forward as often as you like and extend yourself down as often as you like as well. Oh God, that feels good. I'm at that point where I can rest my head comfortably now. And it's just laying on my lower back and I just like to rock my knees slowly side to side. Finding a little bit of a stretch, getting a little bit of a snap, crackle and pop through my spine, mobilizing those joints before we start to use that body. When I'm at down in this side stretch, I definitely feel it on the hip, on the inner thigh, not inner thigh, rather in the sort of hip flexor from rotating from the side. Your sort of body will feel however it feels. There's no sort of right, wrong, common, uncommon way here to what you feel versus what I feel, but you just need to 
breathe into the stretch and just feel the stretch. So if my butt was just engaging just a little bit, I just turned it off. So you can just start to understand that your body will hold onto certain things and it will engage certain things, try and brace and protect unnecessarily. And that's effectively why we're here. Oh, I'm rolling over. Oh, that was nice. We're trying just to still keep the lessons that we have learned through the 21 days previous and through Super Me of what our body is sort of capable of and naturally wants to do, which is protect and hold and, and, and guard against itself, as it were. So just recognize that it's it, where, where this, you hold your tension and that's what this sort of little rotational extension and foam rolling experience is like why we do it beforehand just to wake it up and go hi you know we're not doing that anymore all right again another time the foam roller went way too quickly we're gonna get started in 10 seconds as i turn on all right as i turn on the countdown so we're going to start with heel taps we know the rules four three two one go all right so hips are scooped under we're flexing forward i'm looking down the side of my leg towards my little pinky toes my range of movement at the beginning of each exercise is going to be a little less simply because this is the first round and my body is like going oh god a bit creaky today so just expect that the range of movement will not be as great until we get to sort of round two, three, and four. So just get through the first one, use it as a bit of a prep to your body to go, hi, welcome, let's do this. So that's 30 seconds done, if those of you have one hand behind the head. Just tap, 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 tap. Keep yourself flexed up, keep your hips scooped, just remind that tummy and those hips to talk to each other. From our armpits down to our little fingers, that's where the movement is coming from. Three, two, one. Crunches, let's go. <sighs> Again, rules stay the same. Hips stay scooped up, ribs pull down, eyes are looking sort of forward, but also a little lower, so almost between your legs rather than above your knees. I just like that sort of range because that chin stays a little bit more tucked. On the way down, I don't want to see the head touch the floor because I want you to keep it uh, at least a good 50% on even as you're going down. And then it's 100% to contract to the top. So you think hips scooped, think ribs down, and all those muscles in between, they're the ones that are working. <sighs> Don't think of it on the way down that it is a rest. I want you to keep yourself uh, flexing forward and tight and turned on. It's always about being turned on, everyone. <laughs> keep being turned on. Ugh. We're going to roll into the plank in two, one, roll over, plank up and hold. All right, slow that breath down now for me, breathe in and out. Squeeze or squeeze the butt cheeks, but I'm going to start at the head. That's going to be the first cue. So chin tucked, scoop the shoulders. Eyes stay down, brace through the tummy. Crunch, 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 crunch. Really get that tummy on. Those hips and those ribs are talking to each other. They are really engaged. They go, hi, well, nice to meet you. Nice to see you today. How's it going? Butt cheeks are squeezing, as I've stated before. My knees are locked straight. So almost my quads are also turned on as well. So my kneecaps are pulling up to my hips to force my legs to straighten. I rock back so that the heels of my feet, oh, there you go, side plank, up and hold. Ah, see, I like to talk all the way through it and then be surprised that we are done already. So that's good. Even if I don't get to the toes, you know the rules. I bang on about them every single day for the last you know, next Thursday, I was thinking, next Thursday is session 50. 50? Whoa. Session 50? Isn't that crazy? 
Oh, that's next Thursday. So a week from today is session 50, so therefore obviously today is session 45. I wonder how many people have done 45 sessions with me on the bounce. <sighs> Let me know. 10 seconds. I probably heard my jokes over and over and over again. They're so hilarious, I know. Oh, four, three, two, one. Swap. Up and hold. Stay steady. Keep that brace of the tummy. So yeah, I was pretty surprised by that number. 45 sessions today. Half a century of sessions next Thursday. Wow. So basically day nine. Day nine of Project Abs is going to be 50 sessions in total. I'm feeling stronger. Wonder how you guys are feeling. Obviously, I was much I was stronger beforehand. You know, keep the illusion. Smoke and mirrors, guys. Smoke and mirrors. We're gonna do the extension cobra in four, three, two, one. On your front. Uh, if you have a towel or a pillow and want to put it across your hips, try it out. Trust me, it's it actually works. Alright, hands down by your side. Brace through the tummy, squeeze through the butt cheeks, raise the feet as you lift the head and the hands off the floor. Thumbs are pointing to the sky to give you that little bit of extra retraction of the shoulder blades. Arms come out to the side. We breathe, we hold, we stay here. Brace the tummy underneath you, rib cage and hips. Just because you are lifting and extending that back, it doesn't mean you lose your engagement of the tummy. Let's bring the arms above our head. Still hovering the hands above. We're going to hold that. We're going to scoop the shoulder blades, but try and maintain an elbow straight and a knee straight. If your heels come together, that will give you a bit more of an extra butt squeeze. Breathe. Hold. And rest for a minute. One minute rest. Get yourself a bit of a drink if you want. I'm gonna have a little bit of a cat stretch. So yeah, those of you who put the towel just under the hips there, it really does help support that abdominal engagement. Um, I think it was Zeb, Zeb who was texting me or DMing me yesterday, asking me about it. You were sort of losing your shoulder position as you were doing the extension. Think of it like a 50-50 relationship. Yes, you will lose 100% contraction, that's fine. So give a little bit here to get a little bit here, but as long as you're not shrugging, then I'm happy with that, that relationship. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We're gonna do heel taps in 10 seconds. Four, three, Two, go, heel taps, let's go. So, hips are scooped, little fingers are sliding towards the toe, little toes, little pinky toes. Get your breath going if you start to fatigue. I always like to breathe in to one side, out on the other, in to one side, out on the other if I'm not talking for the entire minute. If I'm talking for the entire minute, I have to feel like I'm, I'm breathing in between about three or four words. That's it, so tap, 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 tap. Keep the chin tucked, keep going. And from about round three, my chat starts to significantly fall off a cliff because I'm working hard too. Crunches, go! So get the hips scooped underneath. Don't forget about your big toe, your little toe and your heels on this exercise. Keep the arch of that foot maintained. Your knees will slightly turn, just tilt slightly away from each other. But the big toe, think big toe into the floor and butt cheek squeezing on the same side. So right big toe, Right butt cheek, right little toe, right butt cheek, right heel, right butt cheek. Get the butt cheek squeezing. 
and scooping and helping those tummies do tummy muscles do their job. Okay, keep it going, come on. Rolling over to the plank in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, roll. Up and hold. All right, so slow it all down. Slow it down. Talking to myself rather than anybody else. Use this time to center into that breath, get that chin tucked, the eyes stay down. Lift away from that candle flame so that upper body is obviously working and scooping those shoulder blades. Rib cage to the hips, brace underneath you and keep that tension in your tummy. If you're feeding together, Heels together, squeeze the butt cheeks on, get the cheeks involved. Tense the butt cheeks to help the tummy. We rock back, keeping the knees nice and locked straight. So that the heels, side plank. Ah. So that the heels are over the toes. I've forgotten, forgotten, didn't get to both of those times. For first time and second time. All right, we are holding into a side plank. Again, that top hand. You can do whatever you want with that. Hand to the temple, hand to the hip, hand in your pocket. If it's here, don't use it too much. If you can't, if you don't have to. I like it here just because it feels like it's out of the way for some reason. I don't know why. <sighs> All right, we are straightening up. Don't let your body round like a banana. <sighs> a banana under from the feet to the elbows is fine. That is a good banana, but I'm talking about if I was to squash you between your front and your back, I want it straight. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll it. Up and hold. Keep the hips lifted for me, guys. We have got a good amount of time just to prep ourselves, focus on the exercise itself, scoop the shoulder blade underneath you, keep that side working, lifting up through those hips. <sighs> Getting your breath in. I like to breathe in for three or four, out for three or four. Imagine that. We are in a happy place. Well, we are in a happy place, aren't we? We're in... <laughs> I'm in my happiest place right now, in a side plank in my dining room slash playroom. <laughs> Pro Cobras, let's go. Ugh. Palms of the hands to the floor. You know what to do to set yourself up if you need to. Hands up, feet up, head up, but eyes stay down. Hold. Brace the tummy, squeeze the butt cheeks, arms pull out to the side, hovering the hands just above the mat or floor. Hold that breath, adjust your thumbs. I want them up to the sky as much as you can and therefore scoop those shoulder blades away from those ears and we're gonna bring those hands up. We're gonna clap our hands together, bring them back down by our side and clap them back up above our head. Keep that going. So my hands during this are just clapping together, keeping my thumbs to the sky. Tap or clap and open. Reset. Clap and open and rest. <sighs> oh, one minute rest. I definitely feel that that extension exercise we're getting better at. It. We, as a collective, are getting better at that one. Have a quick drink of water if you need, because we're going to go to round three in 28 seconds.
it's really interesting to see, you know, with people starting a 21 days session now, it's, it's really interesting. It's nice to see people go on starting on their own journeys. Make sure you tell your friends and everyone about this. It's good for them. Okay, three, two, heel taps. One, go, let's do it. Tap, chin tucked, brace the tummy, ribs stay down, hips stay scooped. Big toes, little toes, heels on the feet, they are working. The knees are gently drifting away from each other and the butt cheeks are squeezing on. It's like you're trying to almost lift your tailbone off the floor, trying to tuck that tailbone up off the floor and in towards the tummy at the front. So make sure now, this is round three. Round three is when we get the best range. This is when we are Bodies are going, yeah, we can do this. We can do this all day. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe that's just me. But anyway, little fingers to the little toes. Come on. Down by the side of that foot. Keep yourself flexed forward. And crunches. Go. Crunch those ribs down. Hips scoot. Stay up. Tap or crunch rather. Come on. Come on, round three. This is the second last round. You've only got one more of these crunches to do after this. And then we are home and hose until super me. And then you click on super me and go from there. Come on. Keep those eyes down, keep those big toes down. Keep those hips lifted, keep that tummy working. Breathe, come on. Oh, this is gonna be, this is a long minute. Three, two, one, side of plank, let's go. Normal plank, up and hold. Set yourself up into position. Okay. I'm going to start at the feet for this one. So, heels back, straighten through those knees. If your feet are together, that will help squeeze the butt cheeks on. So you're scooping the hips underneath you. It's the same scoop, you're just facing the other way. Tummy on, get those tummies. Those tummies, you've only got one. Get your tummy and butt cheeks talking to each other. Helping each other out. Moving up through to the upper back, you're getting away from the candle flame, and that chin is also tucked up away from that candle flame. So you're still looking at the, that fire, but you are making sure you stay away from it. You don't want to singe your eyebrows, God forbid. And I have some significant eyebrows. I might use a little... <laughs> Side plank. What am I talking about? I have significant eyebrows, prominent, it's a Higgins thing. <laughs> Stop laughing. Oh, okay. Oh, giggling and side planking. Not a best combination of things to do. Stay away from talking about eyebrows. Uh, 20 seconds, come on. 15 seconds. Talking to myself, come on. 10 seconds. You've got this. Come on Higgins, you've got this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change sides. Woo. Fresh. Now we're feeling fresh on the left side. Left side, fresh side. All right, so get used to this. Get that breath going. Set yourself up and in position. And yes, obviously, we get a little tired now, so if you have to drop to your knees, you can. And that variation is level one is on your knees. Level two is a top leg long. Level three, well, it's high, and if you want more of a challenge, you want to show off, both hands hold both feet, one up and down. I'm just gonna happy to hear. I'm happy here. 
I might have to lift my leg up on the last round because A, it's the last round, and B, I like to show off. 10 seconds. Come on, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Prone Cobras, let's go. Okay, forehead down, chin tuck, shoulders off, feet up, butt cheeks, squeezing heels together, hands up, chest lifted. And we are just hovering to start. We hover and hold. Thumbs are to the sky, arms are out to the side, and we hold that crucifix position. Take a nice little breath, make sure your hands, make sure your feet are lifted. Tummy stays squeezing, butt cheek stays on. Chin stays tucked, eyes stay down. Arms above your head now, we just hold that position. And yesterday, I can't believe I started singing the theme tune for Superman. <laughs> Few people pulled me up on it, but totally worth it. Got a little carried away. Oh, come on. Keep that chin tucked, keep those hands up, keep those feet lifted. <sighs> Tummy on and rest. Oh my God. One more round to go. One more round. Water. You gotta be very precise with the amount of water you take. If you take too much, you're like, whoop. You don't take enough, you're like, oh man, I wish I had more. <sighs> 15, 15 seconds to go. <sighs> All right, prep yourself up. Three, two, heel taps. One, let's go. Tap. Round, so let's make it good. I really want to slow this one down. Little fingers slide further down your foot towards the little pinky toe. You're lifting higher than you ever have before. Your big toes are down, your little toes are down, your heels are down. And we're just sliding or tapping or changing our sides from side to side. That's 30 seconds, everybody. I'm breathing out down my right side into my left, and now I'm going to change it over. I'm going to breathe into my left, out to my right. Keep your head and shoulders lifted off the floor. Keep your hips scooped. And crunches, let's go. Oh, last little crunches, come on, scoop those hips. Ribs stay down to the Pull them down. Ribs stay down to those hips. <sighs> okay. Eyes are locked into position a little lower than you really want them to go. <sighs> and this is the round where I'm going to start to slow down my speaking. Most likely. <sighs> Use that breath to try and really flex into it. <sighs> I'm breathing in as I go up and down and out as I go up and down. So every crunch, I'm in for one breath and out for one breath as I perform the crunches. Remind yourself to scoop those hips. Come on, keep those hips scooped. Roll over, plank for the last time. Lift and hold. Let's do this. Okay, just for fun, lift up one leg and hold it there above you if you can to challenge yourself a little further. For five, four, we're gonna swap over in three, two, change and hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, change. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, change, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Both feet down, hold it for the last 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I may have counted a little fast, but we're there. Side plank. Okay, fine. One leg up if you can. Oh. It's all about getting that bottom foot comfortable. All right. That's 20 seconds down. Use that breath. That's 30 seconds down. Lift up a little higher if you can. Beautiful, 20 seconds to go, looking good. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest, other side. Let's go. Hold, up, lift. And breathe. Good. Keep it up. Lift it up. Hold it up. 20 seconds down. This foot is starting to slip. 30 seconds down. Come on. We've got this. We really do. Keep those scoops of those hips. 20 seconds to go, come on. Lift those hips up. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Prone, cobras. Arms are extended already, chin is tucked. Adjust yourself, feet lift off, squeeze the heels, butt cheeks on, arms up and hold, chin is tucked, scoop the shoulder blades. If you have to, place a towel under those hips and that will help your tummy and rib cage keep on active and in control. Elbows are straight, knees are straight and everything is lifted off. Keep that chin tucked, lift up if you can, but keep your eyes down, keep your tummy braced, keep your breath, hold, this is the last exercise of the day, and rest. Pigeon stretch. My right knee is going between my two arms. Oh, wow. And I'm breathing. Okay, I'm breathing. That was fun. Oof. Oh, wow. I like stretching off my glutes after this routine. Change legs. I feel like it's a nice hip loosener. Although we haven't necessarily done many glutes, but they are always hopefully in working hard and stabilizing your back. So they're a bit of the forgotten child in a postural exercise. Because during a prone cobra exercise, for example, you are extending and therefore you're actively stretching your abdominals from the front. And during obviously the crunches or the plank holds, you're actively relax or actively stretching your lower back. So glutes are the sort of forgotten babies in, in those stabilizing work. Okay, 
Coming out of that, sit yourself comfortably. Take a breath. And that is day four complete, everybody. Well done. Hope you all have a lovely, happy, healthy, safe day. And until tomorrow, I'll see you later. Bye. I'm going to flip the camera around if you have any comments. Bring them over. How are we doing, guys? How was that? Everybody okay? Did it work? Was the sound okay? Uh, perfect crunch is um, you don't go down too far and you don't, Ollie, just as a question, you said, what's the perfect crunch? Can you qual uh, clarify what a perfect crunch is? Um, you don't go down too far, so you've still got control of your core. Your tummy is still in control. I'd, for a crunch, I don't want to see the neck relax. So that's the most important thing. Just keep that chin tucked, hands stay behind the head. Those shoulders aren't scooping and aren't uh, up towards your ears hunching, so you're scooping those shoulder blades, so that neck distance is there, and you're crunching through. So it's all focused on that tummy. Getting slightly easier, Lexi. Hmm. Nice one, well done. This time I stayed with all the crunches. Well done, Tina. Conan, oh, you guys are showing off. Showing off. Okay, fine. I may have to revise what next week is all about if you guys are hitting it pretty easy on Thursday of the first week. Sham was good. I think I could even hear your kids. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you could. You're talking is the best distraction, but making me laugh during crunches makes them so much worse. <laughs> I know. I wish I had a filter. I should have a filter. Sorry about that. I didn't say easy, just easier, Lexi. Okay, sorry, my mistake. Okay, not easy. All right, Conan, all right. Okay, I got it, I got it. All right, everybody. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you all for Friday tomorrow. Bye.